up YouTube, it's the BMP here and just thought I'd give you a quick update on how I'm getting on with my Roman um, soldiers. This is the set I'm currently making. It's the Warlord Games Hail Caesar Imperial Roman Veterans as you can see and they come with that lot. You get three command squads, so you get the guy with the Imperial Standard, Dude Plans for Music, and the Captain or Lieutenant just there, and you get 17 foot soldiers. So, we're gonna have a look just to see how I'm getting on and show you guys how to do it and how I've actually built them. So, let's have a look. Back again, YouTube. So, this is the stage I'm at, <coughs> excuse me, with my Imperial Romans. Or the veterans, should I say. Like I said, it's the from Hal Caesar Warlord Games. Or the company's Warlord Games, and it's the Hal Caesar like set. And oh excuse me, that's better. As you can see, they've still got the transfers, the shield transfers just there. And I'm gonna save them, <coughs> excuse me, till last. So on these dudes here, this is the guy. Oh, nearly <laughs> dropped it so that's the um, musician playing this horn so I'll just try and hold it a little bit steady as you can see there you go and this is the guy with the um, the imperial standard I finished gluing all these together this morning so I'm gonna give him a good 24 hours to set <clears throat> before I put all the greaves on, which are like the little metal shin pads at the bottom. And that's the lieutenant. So, really nice, well designed figures. Really impressed with the first time I've actually bought Warlord Games products. And when I bought these, I bought these, and for Christmas. Um, I got bought, well, what I'm going to get at Christmas, is some Napoleonics. So, really looking forward to them as well. But with these, as you can see, you've got the back row. Just there, all the guys with the spears. Because <coughs> what you'd, excuse me, because what you'd normally do is you'd have all the back row, when these are in formation, they'd lob the spears to do the initial damage and then once devil thrown the spears you can see ones of the they were then charging with their swords so as you can see these guys all got swords drawn I have, ready for the shields but like I said I'm going to put the shields on last but that's the stage I'm at at the moment and okay so I'm just going to back out a bit I'll show you the sprue this is the um so if I do that you won't actually see the soldier, you just see the sprue. No, that's not working, is it? There you go. But that's the sprue, and you can see you got all your shields and a few spare, like a range shield. Uh, and the greaves, you can just see just these there. A few spare arms. That's one sprue. And the second sprue is exactly the same. But I'll leave the shields right until the very last minute and I shall pin each one and spray them all and put the transfers on, excuse me. Got a few spare heads as well, which is good. You got the sword, you got another lieutenant's head there. <coughs> so can actually make if I go on to probably bits box or something like that and buy the rest of the um the bodies, I can actually make some more of it. So I will be buying some more. Really, really, really nice kit to um, build. And what I should be doing in the next part of this video is, um, or in the next upload, is painting them. I shall spray them all, once I've got the greaves on, I shall spray them all grey. I'm not gonna... I should do black, but the problem is with black, I have trouble seeing the detail in the actual miniature and because they're smaller I don't want to make my job even harder when painting them. 
Yeah, so I'll just balance it on there. There you go. So that's the problem I have with black. So I should probably just spray them grey. So yes, so the next part will be, you shall see, should I say, all these painted, um, well, undercoated, sprayed grey, with all the greaves on, and I should go through painting one, one at a time, because a few people have said they like to see me paint the miniatures, not just in stage as well, I upload a video to say, look, this is what I've done, this is what I've done, and then, now they're finished, yeah? So what I'm going to do is... Paint one, but as I'm painting it, fast forward it so then you can see the end result. See me painting. That's just one of the, or two subscribers have actually mentioned that to myself. So that's the stage of my Romans. And really, really do buy these because I love the detail on them. Fantastic detail, especially the guys with the spears. You can just see, just there. I love the detail in the helms and stuff. The, from what I've heard, are really simple to paint. You just can need um, silvers, browns, reds for the tunic at the bottom here, and that's been flesh and brown for the boots and stuff. But yeah, really looking forward to painting them. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.